Hello friends, good morning, good morning. It is the day after my initial infestation of bed bugs, in case you didn't know. Last night I woke up again around 4 a.m., found a couple tiny little ones in my bed, but I looked up online about ways to get rid of them more because I didn't find any big ones, just like little tiny ones, so I think that's progress. So I looked online for home remedies on how to get rid of these things and they suggested spraying uh, different kinds of essential oils, number one being lemongrass essential oil which will also kill the eggs in the nest but I don't have any lemongrass essential oil but I did have lavender and they said that lavender does help because the smell suffocates them or something either way I did have lavender I mixed it up with some water I sprayed around my bed and I was actually able to have a really good night's sleep after that. The lavender is also like a calming agent too, right? So I was able to calm down long enough to go to sleep. So this morning I got up and I'm gonna keep doing this entire process of cleaning up around the area and my bed until I find no bugs. That included taking a brush around the edge of the wall, scrubbing it, vacuuming, ironing around my carpet, which I never in a thousand years would have thought that I was going to iron my carpet, but they don't survive very well in really high heat. And then I sprayed another round of lavender. Hopefully that will help. Today, I think I'm gonna go see Katie and Ben and hang out and hello, how are you? Are you good? Oh, you're so cute. I'm gonna go over to Katie's and hang out for a little bit, see the babe, and then maybe go to CrossFit. There's a guy that's literally outside of my apartment building all of the time on the phone. What do you do all day other than talk on the phone? I am headed to Katie's right now, but before I had left, I called the place that I had an interview at the other day just to check in to see how it's been going because I had my interview over a little over a week ago now and I haven't heard anything back. And I called and the manager that I had the interview with, with was not there. So I'm gonna call her tomorrow night. But the guy that I did talk to, the manager that was there and that I did have a conversation with, said that she hired a whole bunch of people and he has no idea who got blah 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 and all the da da da, whatever. So I'm gonna Uber tonight so I can pay bills. Great. Not stressed at all. You know what, if I make it to November surviving off Uber, I probably won't be mad about it. I just gotta actually put a little work into my car to make it less of a pit. Because I was reading my Uber reviews and it's like, her car could be in better shape. Yeah, no my car could be in better shape. I know that. I've been driving this car for almost three years. I think I know. I think I know my car is in ruins. Ruins! My entire sunroof, this whole back part is falling in. So it makes a noise if I drive too fast. Listen, it's just what it is. Live it up for the weekend. This would have been a nice beach day. I'm just gonna make some food. I just got back from CrossFit and seeing Katie. Katie's good, the baby's good, CrossFit was good. I'm trying to get like a handle on my PRs for what do we do, back squats, deadlifts, and the one where you just lift them up over your head. So just kind of getting a feel for that. I can deadlift 195 pounds if you were curious. And I can back squat my own weight. I am feeling super strong, I'm feeling really good, and I have to go Uber, which is not gonna make me feel really good. You do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do to make ends meet. I really don't wanna be like a cashier or something. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I just don't want to do it. I would really like to wait tables because you can make pretty decent money at it. However, it's hard to do that when they won't give you the job. But I will call them again tomorrow and see what's up. If this bed bug situation is not better by tomorrow, I'm gonna go out and get lemongrass essential oil and essentially do, <laughs> essential, essentially do what I did with the lavender oil today and this morning and see if that will help. I think it's gonna get better. I'll survive through it. There are places in the world where you have to wear a bug net to bed or have a be bug net around your bed because of poisonous insects. Now, it's not fun at all having bugs in your bed, but I guess if I had to pick a bug to be in my bed, it would be one that isn't poisonous. I'm not gonna Uber. I can't be asked. I just, I don't, I don't want to. I applied for another serving job somewhere else and I'm gonna make a video and make myself some brownies I think because I want to and I am annoyed and need brownies that's what's going on here but I think I'm gonna be able to see Dave tonight which will be pretty cool 
I have been hit with a wave of exhaustion and I just want to go to bed. I want to go to sleep. There hasn't been a bug in sight yet. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching my grumbly little life. Give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.